Well, hey, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and do your love reading, okay? Uh, I always say, like I've been saying with every other sign, I do general, which means love and money every other day of the week, okay? So if you guys want to know, excuse me, um, about your love and money, you can check out the video that I did yesterday and also last week. But let's go ahead. Let's get it started. Aquarius, let's see what we have for you guys today. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. You're a hangman. Oh. Hangman. What's going on? Okay. So I have the hangman. I have the seven of pentacles. I also have the empress. Let's, oh, look at what was at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I see that there is going to be some type of new love coming in your life. That's kind of in harmony with what we've been seeing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get your last card, and then we're going to look at what your first row. The Emperor. Wow. Okay. We see, we see a match here. We see a couple. Now, some of you guys are married. I do know that. Some of you guys are. Um, and some of you guys will be meeting your uh, spiritual mate, your spiritual partner. And if you guys go back in some of the previous videos that I've done, we've talked about it. Aquarius, you've been having some beautiful readings. So this is nothing new. Here at the bottom of the deck, I do believe that in the past, you guys have dealt with individuals who were, um, you know, in and out. They were not serious, okay? It could have been you. It could have been someone you were with. And also, if you guys are in a long-term community relationship, if you wanted to be in a long-term, or if you're married, you, you know, you could have been dealing with a partner who uh, was out here in these streets, okay? Some of you guys, you know, feel like you can't, maybe can't let go, or you're stuck in the connection, if that's the case. Seven of Pentacles, what have I invested? I invested so much into you, okay? So we're going to see what this is all about. We're going to get some more cards here for you, Aquarius. Let's get it for Aquarius. Wow, wow, wow. Wait a minute, I got a card that fell on the floor. So I have the Nine of Wands. You guys are really tired. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with you guys waiting for something to come along, that type of thing. Oh, yeah, heartbreak here. Didn't I say that? Some of you guys are basically saying, I've invested so much into you, into this, and there's a lot of disappointment here. Yeah, Aquarius, here you are. You, you know, it's showing your value, your worth here. Absolutely. At the bottom of the deck, we even have a lot of burdens that you've been carrying around. Let's go ahead. Let's get that last card and see what this is all about for Aquarius. Oh, yeah. This is commitment all the way. This is commitment. This is problems in a committed relationship. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you know, some of you guys are going to be going into something that's committal. Um, some of you guys are going to end up being single. Okay, I want to tell you the truth because I've seen this, I've, I've talked about it and I've seen this before where some of you guys were in a connection or in a marriage where, you know, there's divorce that's involved, that type of thing. But we're going to see, let's hope that this reading turns out good. So we're going to see what this is all about. We're going to start with the hangman for Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. You have been extremely patient with your situation. You have been burdened so much here. I really do see that. Um, you know, I do feel like you guys are, you know, I don't know. I think you guys are in this very reflective like mode, um, trying to figure out what you want to do. Um, you've been very patient with your situation. I do see that there's someone coming in. Absolutely. This is a love reading. Um, but it's going to be kind of up to you what you decide. If you want to talk, if you want to keep with this person, stay with this person, if you want to take them back, that type of thing. But someone needs to get something off their chest too. But we'll see how sincere that is. Usually the Nine of Pentacles talks about sincerity and being sincere. But let's see. We're going to get some more. Let's get the Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius. 
Yeah, you definitely have love coming in here. Mm -hmm. A lot of anger here with the three of swords, a lot of disappointment, a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal here in this reading. Um, this devil is showing up. It was something very toxic. You walked away before, um, you know, or they may have abandoned you in some kind of way. Or you felt abandoned, uh, but they're definitely coming back in here. So it's going to be up to you. They know how much you've invested into them and into this connection. Um, that's what I'm saying. I see a lot of, you know, I only seen a few reads or a few signs that had new, okay, but a lot of returning and it's going to be up to you guys um, to uh, deal with this person when they come back in, how you want to deal with them. It's going to be up to you, but you definitely have someone wanting to come in and now maybe they're like, hey, this, I want to invest more into you because we are clarifying the seven of Pentacles. We saw the hangman, which means maybe they've having some type of a different perspective on life and they want to invest in this connection. But a lot of damage has been done from what I'm saying. Let's get the Empress here for Aquarius. Empress. Oh yeah, communication. It looks like you guys haven't been talking here. I see uh, with the High Priestess silent treatment so there will be some type of message communication here very soon let's get the emperor yeah i'm sensing a home partnership in this read yeah full card here somebody's going to take a leap of faith that's what i'm saying for some of you this is going to be a new person you know you guys may work with this person some of you guys are dealing with someone at your job maybe a boss even <laughs> okay um that you could that could be a third party too, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that because it'll I don't want to put too many stories in here. But third party, that's what I'll say. But there is going to be new beginnings here. I see a lot of entry, a lot of people, um, not a lot, but meaning I'm seeing a lot of energy of someone wanting to come in. Okay, um, for some of you, this will be someone that will be your energetic match here. Let's get the nine of wands for Aquarius. Oh, yeah. I also had another one that flipped. Oh, yes. New love here. <laughs> you cut some, some, a lot of you guys cut stuff away. You're going to have new love. And you know what? You're standing on your decision. That's exactly what you're doing. You got new love here. But you guys, you, you fought. You guys were tired. And this is why I say some of you guys have been so patient waiting for the real thing to come in. But you cut you cut you cut something out, and then it it is showing that yeah, eventually, absolutely, there will be something new coming in. Someone very sincere. Let's get the three of swords. And for some of you, this is someone that you know. Three of swords. It's been a struggle. A lot of fighting here. Um, a lot of pain. A lot of hurt. Uh, but it is going to be someone is trying to build up the courage to say something to you. Some of these people that you guys that that may come in know that you were in a relationship and that you were hurt. They're kind of like, you know, how should I approach them? Okay. But, you know, regardless of your situation, there is going to be someone either new or someone from the past that will communicate heavy communication in your reading. But I love the fact that the Ace of Cups came out. New love, brand new start for you guys. Let's get the star card. Yeah, building up your confidence. Absolutely. And I see something different and new. New adventures. That's what I'm saying. Two of Wands. Going to explore, finding, you know, seeing what else is out there. That's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and get the Hierophant here. The Hierophant. Thank you. Wow. Yep, here with the page of swords. For some of you guys, if you were in a committed relationship, someone is watching you. They're very frustrated because you're moving on. You're going to find your happiness. Yes, with that sun card. Now, for some of you, there is going to be a peaceful resolution. That's what I'm saying. Because a person from your past cannot live without you, obviously. <laughs> and they're just, you know, spying and watching and all of that. Um, but like I said, a lot of you guys are going to move on from this energy and start a new life. Okay. Um, but for some of you, this is going to be some type of reconciliation with the person from your past because there's a lot of history here. That's for some. Okay. That's why I said with others, 
This is definitely showing you guys being single and happy and eventually running into your 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 uh, match. That's what I'm saying. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.